Hello, and welcome to a figure review of Figma number 373, Genji from Overwatch. Um, so, it's been a while, um, I can't even remember when this was released, but I'll put it at the bottom there. But it's, it's, been, it's been a few years, uh, I have been sat on this, um, as you can tell here actually, because we have Figma's 10th anniversary, which is no longer the case. But anyway, today I am cracking open... Um, a figma of Genji Shimada from Overwatch. Uh, if you've played Overwatch, you are doubtlessly aware of who this is. If you've not played Overwatch, I don't fully know what you're watching, but I appreciate you anyway. So we'll take a quick look at the box and stuff. It's a pretty straightforward one. I do like the 10th anniversary stamp thing. That's kind of cool. On the side, we've got a look at Genji uh, holding his like daggers and his sword behind him. And the other side is kind of more of a close-up of just his torso with his um, sword sheathed. And on the back, uh, as with all of... oh, sorry, there's the top as well, which is him kind of doing his throwing uh, kunai kind of pose. And on the back, we've got a variety of different poses. So that's his kind of standard. That's him throwing his kunai. That's him kind of dashing, basically. Ah, that's the deflect ability, isn't it? That's... Just him doing a sword strike, that's him preparing. I think that may be the pose he does on the hero select screen, I want to say. Um, and that's him doing a really cool tracking pose, is what I'm going to call it. It looks a bit like an Iron Man uh, pose when he lands, but you know what I mean. Oh, oh actually, that's the same shot as up there. Okay, um, that's enough of the box. There's not much more going on. There's obviously white and green, because his visor and stuff and his sword are green. Um... Yeah, that's about it for the box, so I'm going to go uh, open this up now and take him out of the packaging and arrange uh, him and all the stuff you get in the package. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, I have returned. So uh, that's the background of the box as well, if anyone wants to see it, it's just green. Now, I think with Figma things, I don't know if you can really see it through here, but... There are fold lines because technically you can pull the backing out of these boxes and make a kind of display stand kind of thing. Um, I guess it's kind of go with the colouring. Uh, I know I have two other Figmas that came with similar things, so that's an option. I personally don't do it, but you know. Uh, right, so I have opened him up and taken out all the things. I've customised him slightly, as you can see, but I'll get onto that in a second. So the things... That aren't on screen that I'll also mention. Figma always do this, but these are super handy. Uh, you get one of these bags in there. We can put all the extra bits in here so that, you know, you can store these somewhere and then, like, change up your Figmas whenever you want them uh, to look different and stuff. Uh, and also, I haven't opened these up, but there are two smaller things that come in the bag as well. There is... A backup wrist joint, I do believe, or that may even be a neck joint as well. There is a very small chance some of these joints will break. It's always nice to have one of those. And the other thing is to go on a display on the, um, not on the display, the stand. Now, I don't fully know what this is for specifically. Maybe it's in case that breaks as well, but this is what you plug the figure into to hold onto the, um, onto the contraption, the display thing there. Didn't open these up because they're so small, there's no point having them, I didn't need them right now. I'm going to put that to the side too. So we're going to look at his accessories first, then we look at the Genji, then I'm going to do a small photo collage of different poses and stuff to put him in, as I usually do, and then we'll kind of have a rundown and, you know, review of the figure itself. So, first up, uh, as is standard with Figmas as well, we always get these and it's quite nice, is hand holders. So as you can see, there are various hands for uh, both right and left. So that's his neutral hand, which I've replaced, obviously. Uh, those, that's the kind of like meditating or um, channeling kind of hand he's got. That's an open hand there. And that is one hand that you can place one of the swords or uh, either the sword or the dagger in. Going around here, that is uh, also an open one, as is that, one of them has just fallen. That's a neutral one for the other hand, I believe, and that's the other open hand. So, you can have him doing a variety of things. Let me put that back there. Right, so, uh, you know, nice amount of hands. It's always good. I love the Figma does this, and especially they have a little 
hand holder thing. Not to be confused with hand holding, I suppose. So, um, one of the less gram glamorous bits as well, I'll go over in a second, but he's got a, a dagger holster and a sword holster. Now, uh, this is one of the things you can remove. So this goes in the holster to make it look like he has the dagger in place. Obviously, if he's holding the dagger, you take this out and it looks like his holster is empty. Obviously, the dagger and the sword don't fit into the holsters, but it's a really nice little touch, so it doesn't look like he's also got a dagger while also holding his dagger, which wouldn't make much sense. Uh, I mean, you don't necessarily have to do that, but I appreciate the attention to detail. Uh, and, of course, here is his blade uh, that Genji uses during his ult, uh, the Roar of the Dragon, I think it's called. I can't remember, but... This is a phenomenally uh, detailed blade. Look at that. I, I really love the co colour combination and stuff. Um, yeah, and this is where he just goes around slashing people with his katanas uh, during his ult. So I'm going to have some photos of him wielding this, of course, uh, as well. Very excited for that. Uh, it is a beautiful blade. And the last one up uh, is a very special hand. So this took me a second to really work out. So uh, as we can see here... That is a hand part there, uh, which is meant to look like he's throwing his three kunai. Um, or not kunai, shuriken, I suppose. Yeah, cyber shuriken, so as you can see here. Uh, this is one solid piece, so there's no removal of all these things, obviously. But that's fair enough, to be honest. This is such a specific pose that you wouldn't really... You know, you wouldn't want it any other way because I'm pretty sure when you throw the shuriken in the game, it does throw three of them, right, in a spread. Or I think you can throw one singularly, but it makes more sense to throw in a spread like that. So you can put that on. Um, annoyingly, it is just his right hand, I suppose, in the game. He uses his right hand dominantly, so it makes sense. But, um, yeah, well, I mean, I guess otherwise they'd have to make two of these, wouldn't they? And that would probably push the cost up a bit. So we look at the base very quickly. As you can see here, it does indeed have the Blizzard logo, obviously. Uh, it's on the underside, which is strange, because if you turn it round there, it actually says Blizzard, but like backwards, and it's a bit strange. But yeah, the the you know the stand is pretty standard. You get the Figma, uh, whatever this is called. I call her a stand. Uh, and so we're going to start from the bottom up. So we've got uh, the feet. They've got a pretty decent range of motion. They can go this far back and that far, sorry, that far forward, that far back. Also, he's got little um, grippy things under his feet. I don't know how well that's coming out, but that's really cool as well. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure that's obviously a part of his in-game design and stuff, but nice they added that. So up to his legs and stuff, his knees are pretty standard. They kind of go forward. Uh, they go back quite far, because obviously uh, Genji's a very mobile guy, so it's nice that he's got that array of movement uh, up to his hips then. So unfortunately, the armor does kind of stop him a little bit, but you know, he's got, he's got a nice range of motion, and uh, what I really like, so we've got all the uh, green sort of like metal cybery bits and stuff sticking out of him as well because, you know, he is a robot. Now there is also this hip part here which is attached to his um, his dagger sheath, as you can tell. And also pretty sure his butt moves. So there we are. If you want, um, if you want to see Genji's jiggly butt, you're welcome. Uh, underneath is like pretty standard stuff. So... I mean, it makes sense. It moves so that he doesn't, like, look strange or whatever. Uh, so his waist obviously changes too. He can go sideways, back and forward, as uh, a lot of figures and stuff do these days. Uh, oh, let's move that out of the way for a second. We'll look at his back in a second with the uh, two sheaths or holsters. So we've got his shoulder, as with his hips, he's got the three, like, glowing um, green things with the silver. And obviously his arm moves back and stuff. Uh, the hands obviously are replaceable, but his wrists are, you know, pretty good. Hang on, his hand's falling off. There we are. I think that's in place. You know, Figma wrists are not the best. Uh, they sometimes click in a place and they sometimes don't, which is kind of annoying. So I've also added a particular hand onto him. And that is this shuriken hand. As you can see, he's got a three there. So... 
I mean, you could technically make him do like a shuriken rage kind of thing. We'd have this in one hand and maybe his special shuriken throwing hand in the other. Um, or, you know, interchange them and stuff like that. It's really cool. I do like this as a kind of neutral pose because he looks ready to strike without particularly being action heavy, if that makes sense. I put the dagger in his other hand, so that's what the dagger looks like. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty standard. It's got his green, like, glowing marks and stuff on it as well. And his chest, obviously, is pretty darn detailed as well. Oh, 25. I don't know the significance of that, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I'll i be honest, in the game, I never really played Genji much. Uh, I was more of a support kind of healer and tank role, but, you know, I, I played Genji once or twice. He, he's, he's fun, I'm just not a DPS guy. And there's a look at his face. Yet again, kind of like standard, but, you know, really nice. And around the back here, you can also... Uh, move his ponytail. Uh, I think, well, it's not really a ponytail, is it? Sorry, it's more of a kind of headband, kind of end of his headband. I don't know. Anyway, that's a look on at his back as well. Uh, that's obviously the port that you put this in. And so we look at the sheaths as well. So as you can see here, this one is quote-unquote empty because I pulled out that handle earlier so that it was consistent because it looks like he's pulled that from there. Um, and this is the holster for his katana. So you can remove this. Sorry, I needed two hands for that. So you can remove that, obviously. So if he was wielding the katana or something, you can take that out. And it looks like he's taken the katana out as well. And they're pretty simple to slot back in. They are, you know, a little bit tight because these are Figma. They're kind of, kind of made like that. I don't think I can put it back with one finger, to be honest. But... Um, that, oh, okay, well, it, it'll it'll rest there for now until it falls out mid-review. Uh, and also his, his neck is pretty cool. It's layered and stuff. And yeah, to be honest, he's a very, like, articulated figure, I think. Um, there's going to be a lot of, lot of different poses you can put him in, which I'm really excited to try out. So I kind of, you know, I've, I've messed his legs up a little bit there. But I kind of put him in a, um, you know, in a cautionary stance kind of thing. So... That is a look at what you get with Genji and all the detailing and stuff. So as I mentioned previously, I'm now going to do a small photo collage of like a few different poses and stuff. I've put him in just so you can see him like using his special, um, special features and stuff like that. And then I'll return after that and we'll give him a final review. So um, here are some photos. All right, I am back, having spent some quality time with Genji. That sounded wrong. But honestly, I've had quite a lot of fun. As you can probably tell in the montage, I've managed to pull off quite a few pauses. Some of them, I feel like we're a little bit limited. For example, that there, if you can see the kind of jumping up and um, throwing the shuriken was not quite as I expected because the legs didn't go up quite as high as I'd have liked. But, I mean, that's that's a nitpick. Along with maybe the katana and the dagger holder, they are a little bit strange because they kind of... They move so much, they do sometimes get in the way and they'll knock themselves out of position. But, I mean, again, as I said, that that is a nitpick. It's not really a big criticism of the figure itself. And honestly, if I had to give this figure a mark out of 10, I'd probably give it an 8. I think if you're a big Overwatch fan, this is definitely worth getting, I think. Especially if you love Genji. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's it's Genji. He's incredibly posable. You can do a ton of stuff with him. You know, what's not to love? But to be honest, even if you're not that into Overwatch, he is still a cool cyborg ninja. And I think he'd kind of blend in with a ton of different figmas because whilst he is recognizable he doesn't stand out too ridiculously uh but yeah i i'd i would rate him pretty highly especially because as well the extras he comes with are pretty cool you've got a lot of like shuriken action you can have going on you could just make him like the sword guy hell you could even make him just the sort of contemplative cyborg ninja if 
if you wanted to go for that. But overall, this is definitely a very cool figure. Now, as I mentioned at the start, this is an older figure, so I don't know if this has gone up in price a lot. Hopefully it hasn't. Overwatch stuff didn't really knock it out of the park in terms of sales for stuff, so hopefully this is roughly the same price as I paid for it. But obviously, if you, if you do own this, let me know in the comments below, because I may have missed out on something, or I may have said something that's just blatantly wrong. But honestly, I really like this figure. I think this may be one of my favourite Figmas out, out of three I own, so that's not a ton, I suppose. But talking about figures uh, and Overwatch, this is not my only Overwatch Figma. I do have two more, so stick around for that in the next few days and weeks, because I will be uh, filming those as well and adding it to my collection. But yeah, Genji has been a lot of fun. I'm really happy I bought this. He's going to be the type of figure, I think, that I'll walk by looking in my display cabinet and think, oh, I've got an idea, I could pose him in this way or that way, and he's got enough going on that I think you could keep this fresh for quite some time. Let me know what you thought as well of this figure, and I'll be making more in the future, as mentioned. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave a playlist for other figure reviews I've done and some like mystery video at the bottom there. And until next time, goodbye.